know the from Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated our daddy in the Fettelberg Gym and obtained the Balance Badge. In today's episode, we're going to continue on. If you guys remember last time, we actually finally obtained the HM Surf. I taught that to our very strong Pokemon, Katara, who is now level 32, Elevar is 29, Goat is 30, and Floor is 31. So I went ahead and took care of training them. I thought, you know what? They're a bit underleveled. It's been a while since I've done some training. So I went ahead and just took care of that off screen now today we're actually gonna make our way to an area that you could say we've previously passed it's it's kind of something we've passed it's that little boat that we've seen on our way to Duford and our and our way to Slateport we always see like a little abandoned ship and that's where I'm gonna try to get us to today because I know there's a lot of really you know cool things there's some goodies on that ship and I think it's gonna be nice to get in there and look around now, as you can see, this route is actually a little bit difficult. I'm, I'm not even sure if this is mandatory. I don't think this is mandatory. I think this is a part in the game where you can honestly just, if you want, talk to the little dude that chases around that Pokemon, the little bird thing. He'll take you to Duford, to Slateport, and then you can take care of all of that because our final destination is Mauville. That is where we need to go. And for now, we don't have the HM Fly yet. Hopefully soon. I know it feels like forever. This is probably one of the latest games that you actually get that HM in. So once we finally get that, then, you know, things will be a little bit easier. But for now, this is what we're going to have to do. This route is actually not that bad. As you can see, I haven't really battled that many trainers yet. I've battled a few, but not an excessive amount. Not an amount that's going to make us cry and, and run away, you know? Not, not something that's going to be like... Oh goodness, I've battled 500 today. And believe me, there's some routes that I've done in some games that do take about freaking 500, you know, different Pokemon to make it through 48 repels. Like, there are some tough ones out there. As you can see, I'm trying to avoid the trainers. I know, you guys might want to train up on these. Um, I personally don't, as you can see. I seem to train up pretty well off screen. I seem to do a pretty good job with it. So I'm not going to be stressing too much about it. I'm trying to just breeze it through and I think we'll be okay. So I hope you guys are enjoying your week. My week's been good. It's been relaxing. Uh, definitely. I know the week's kind of just starting. It's only Tuesday. It feels like it's so much longer than that though. It feels like it's pretty much Thursday or Friday. Maybe it's just in my head. Maybe it's just one of those moments I'm having where it feels like it's, it's later in the week because I've already accomplished so much this week. But it's nice. I enjoy it. And we have made it to where we need to be. Now let's go ahead inside then. Wait, let me go ahead and check that out. Hang on. I thought I saw something out there. Is, is that an item? Did I see something? Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and enter this ship then. This is the abandoned ship, as you can see. And it's inside of this place that we're actually going to explore to see if we can figure out what is going on. I wonder what happened to this ship. You know, it's kind of kind of a mystery to us all what, what is happening here. The door is locked. Storage is painted on the door. Huh, storage. What could that mean? Is there something going on here? It looks like there's a few items spread around. I'm going to collect them all. You know, one, one of those things I like to do is not collect all the items, but if we're inside of a little ship, why not? I mean, how much trouble can we get ourselves into inside of a little ship? You know what I'm saying, guys? I don't, I don't think it's that much trouble. Ah, mother fudge, are you serious? All right, looks like we're going to have ourselves a doubles battle with uh, Daddy and his little, little girl right here. I, I'll give it a shot. I mean, I feel really good in our team. I think it's very strong. I think we're doing awesome. We've built it quite well. I am still looking into the 15 member. I've had a lot of suggestions from you guys on who to add. And honestly, it's a lot tougher than you would think. I am having a difficult time figuring out who to add. It's tough. It's actually a very difficult decision because I know, you know, whatever I decide here, it's going to impact the rest of the team and the rest of the adventure. So I guess I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm kind of just going with it. Uh, just going with the motion, you know, going with the flow and just seeing what happens. I think I think that's, that'll be good. So no worries now. Let's go ahead and take down the Sand Slash then. These Pokemon, at least they're not as strong as I expected them to be. At least we're a little bit stronger than them. Imagine if they were around our level. I feel like it'd be a, a little more difficult. Maybe just a little bit more difficult to take down these Pokemon. Okay, I think we'll take it down here. Floor's a beast, by the way. If you guys have noticed... Floor has been coming in insanely handy. Really glad we actually picked this Pokemon up. I, I think I would have overlooked it if I was playing this game by myself. So to all of you guys that suggested Floor and every other Pokemon, like, great job. You did a really amazing job actually suggesting, you know, who we have on our team right now. And I'm really glad that I had your guys' help. We obtained 
one revive. That's it. That's what we came here on this boat for, guys. One revive. Uh, I don't want to battle more people. Let's see. There's a little exit over here. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Ooh, anything special inside of here? I'm investigating this ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. A scanner? Uh, don't know what the scanner does. I don't think it's something that we can find at this time um, in this game, but let's, let's continue on. I, I don't think there are any Pokemon here, too. We're looking good. So we obtained the storage key, and if you guys remember, we saw a place called storage just a little bit earlier. So I think that's where we have to go with the key, and let's just hope it's the right way. If it's not, awesome. If it is, congratulations. We have figured out the mystery of the Pokemon world. We, we have done something correctly. The door has opened. What's inside of here, then? Oh, sweet! We obtained the TM13 Ice Beam! Okay, great! So I guess there was a good reason for you guys telling me to come in here, because now with this TM, this is a fantastic TM, by the way, probably one of my favorites. I think I've pretty much used it in every generation I play with. We're gonna go ahead and teach it to Goat. Once again, Goat can't learn it, so we're gonna go ahead and teach it to Katara. I am gonna get rid of Water Gun. You can see, Katara also learned Takedown. I think Goat learned Takedown, too. They've learned some good moves. I'll, I'll show them to you guys as we get going. You know, we still need to get to the point where we can erase all the crappy moves from Goat. We're getting there. We're pretty close, if I can say that. But I think it's after the sixth gym that you guys told me we'll actually be able to do a little something. With that, we obtained the move Ice Beam. So we came all this way for Ice Beam. Yeah, all this way for Ice Beam. I know. Who would have thought? A move that good? Thanks a little bit of finding. I remember passing this ship when I was a kid, and I always wondered what was in it. No, I, I didn't stop and think maybe I should surf there. I was a little lazy and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy my time here and see where the adventure leads me. We have made it back to Slaveport City, guys. And wow, that was actually a lot quicker than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna take us a little bit longer. So we made it to Slaveport. I guess we can just continue right on to Mauville. Wow, this was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Whoopsie, I expected this to take like pretty much the whole day, but I guess it's not gonna do that today Let, Let's just get going then. I think I think we can figure out what to do around here. I love riding mother fudge Really dude, you're gonna have like a level 10 Pokemon. I hate battling trainers that you forget Those are the worst when you have like level 80 Pokemon you go back to like pallet town You're battling like a level 3 trainer. Here's like this is this is sucking the life right out of me this is just lovely. All the time I'm putting into this, I could put somewhere else. But it's okay. Life happens sometimes, and sometimes you have to do those things. You know, there's a lot of things I don't like to do, like waking up early. But I have to do it. So sometimes we're going to have to battle trainers, and that's just the way of life. Let's go ahead and Mega Drain the Electrike. I think it's Mauville where we have to go. If I'm wrong, then uh, this is going to be awesome because I really don't know. I, have, I really am not too sure where I need to go. It, it's like pretty much the first time I played this game in a long time. I think you guys I think you guys pretty much know that I'm not I'm not too keen on it I remember a lot, but not like an insane amount not enough to be a uh, Hoenn master, you know not yet at least maybe once I'm done All right, we made it to Mauville and it looks like our main man Watson. What up Watsy? Oh Roger you look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing Fine, I've decided. I need a favor, Rodri. Mauville City has an underground sector called New Mauville. Rodri, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit of hag wire. It's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to get into New Mauville. Hey, guys, it looks like we're going to be going into the basement. Don't you worry about it. I won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Mauville is just a short surf away from Route 110. I actually do remember where this place is. It's very close to us. Not as far as you guys would expect. It's all the way back in Pedalburg, so we're going to have to take the ship, make it all the way back there, loop around, take the cycling road, and then when we get there, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And no, I'm just kidding. Thank goodness we don't have to do that. Also, remember I mentioned to you guys that move that you can build a treehouse? This is a pretty cool spot. Let me see what it says, actually. Let me check out the sign. It says, Team Aqua was here. What? I wish I had the move. Oh man, there's probably some cool stuff in there. I'll probably build a treehouse eventually, and by that I mean it's probably not gonna happen. I, I don't feel like building a treehouse. Maybe we made it to New Mauville. The door is locked. This reminds me of Mega Man, like Mega Man X2, like uh, like when he first goes through that, huh? All right, so there's a blue switch over here. It looks like there are blue and green switches, but I am not too sure where exactly it is I need to go. So I'm just gonna run around a little bit. It looks like there's something on the way up here. 
I don't think we'll be able to backtrack, so I'm just gonna hit this switch, and we'll make our way up. I'm pretty good with puzzles like this. Played a lot of Zelda in my time. You know, I've done, I've done good with the Zelda. Ooh, we found an escape rope. Very nice, but where, where the heck am I supposed to go? Ooh, I found a, what the heck did I just find? It's probably a Voltorb, or an Electrode. There we go, it's a freaking Voltorb. I'm not trying to battle a Voltorb, dude. You know, the game's a little evil. A little mischievous. Why, why would you, or wait, as a trainer, how would you not be able to tell it to Voltorb? Voltorbs are pretty big, if I remember correctly. And if they're not, well, then I remember wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember right. I think there are also Pokemon in here. It's kind of like uh, the power plant, if you guys have ever been there. So I'm not, I'm not about to, ooh, huh. That one looks sketchy. This one looks sketchy. I'm gonna go with this one. And is this the right one? Did I did I make the right choice? Did I did I do this correctly? Oh wait, dang it! There's a green door. Okay, let me run all the way back. This is tough. It's a it's a little troublesome to make our way through. What? Wait, crap! What is this? Probably a Voltorb. Dang it! It is a Voltorb. Where where am I supposed to hit the green switch then? I probably went the uh, the absolute wrong way. So let me go ahead and knock out this Voltorb then. I say I'm good at puzzles, and then I mess it up. It just happens sometimes, you know? I feel like I probably play better when I'm just playing on my DS, and I probably look sometimes like a blonde on here. Guys, I'm really not a blonde. I'm just a brunette that's a little ditzy sometimes. Ooh, what is this switch? Wait, is this the right switch? Am I even going the right way? It's probably not even the right way. I'm gonna come over here. All right, so that door. All right, all right, and I got this, guys. Don't don't even worry about it, all right? Don't even worry about it. We're gonna... We're gonna hit this switch. That's gonna unlock that. Ah, oh, mother fudge! I, I, I always forget. I, I wish we had max repels at this point. It's annoying having uh, normal repels and super repels running around. I wish we had that item that uh, actually makes Pokemon not appear. The weird thing is though, I'm gonna tell you guys this. I've used that item, I think it's the cleanse tag or some sort of tag. I've put it on my first Pokemon, but it always seems to not work, and I, I don't understand that. It's a little bit confusing. I don't know why it works sometimes, why it doesn't other times, and... Okay, I think this leads back to the exit. Yeah, that's not the right way. Okay, let's go back up then. I, I think I got this. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. If you're stressing out right now, if your cholesterol is getting a little too high, you, you let me know. You know, I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Don't even, don't even stress about it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And green. And blue. Okay, and blue, and blue, and blue, and blue. There we go, there we go, see? I got this. Don't even worry about it, don't even worry about it. Okay, I think there was something down there. I'm such a derp. I didn't even see it. There was a freaking thing down here, and clearly we're gonna have to take on the green one. So sweet, there we have it. I think we got this under control, ladies and gentlemen. Don't stress too much. We made it through, and ooh, what does the red button do? I bet it does something real cool. We got the Thunderstone? There's a the Thunderstone in here? All right, guys. If you have ever watched Dexter's Lab, don't push the red button. Oopsie. I accidentally stepped on it. Oh, well, that's it. That is the game. Uh, the Hoenn region has exploded. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It was a blast getting to kill every single person in the Hoenn region. I am sorry to uh, our mother, which, which she's probably crying, but even though she hasn't made us the pancakes and the waffles. Will we ever get our pancakes and waffles? Tune in at the end of this series. Maybe this will be the final time where we actually get some food. And I'm just saying that because I'm kind of hungry. Ah, I knew it, Rodri. I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks, a TM containing Thunderbolt. Go on, you've earned it. We obtained TM24. Uh, I think that move is actually Leer, if I am correct. Ah, it pleases me to no end to see the young step up and take charge. So with that, guys, it seems like we're done here for today. I'm actually going to see, you know, I've been waiting for this move, Thunderbolt, for a while. I I've been waiting a long time, and I'm going to go ahead and teach it to our main man, Goat. Goat can learn it all. Oh, wait. Another move, Goat. Goat, what can you learn, my man? Goat, my, my, my girl. Goat, what can you learn? You can't learn Thunderbolt or Ice Beam? Am I missing something here? Well, I'm kind of lost in this game. Next time, we'll continue on from Mauville City. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.